So my commander is Johan, and he's not a cat, but I've determined he really, really likes cats. Also, he was the only commander that was in the right colors and was any good. I call this deck Paws of Fury. Well, my commander actually is a cat. Hey. It's Mira the Cursed, and she's a flying first strike haste vampire cat. The deck is vampires, and it's called Berry Suck Kill. And yes, while I know berry is an outdated term, it's still what this deck is going to do to you. I'm also running a black deck. My commander is Shieldred. Her abilities are gross and should actually read all opponents with creatures completely tilt out. The name of my deck is, I ain't saying she's a grave digger, but she certainly pulls creatures out of the graveyard with startling efficiency. Wow. It needs work, I admit. In command of my army is Feldegriff, the happy purple hippo. And my deck is called Everybody Wins. How does that work? Oh, you'll see. It's a ridiculous combo, isn't it? Maybe. My commander is Linvala, Keeper of Silence, and I've got all manner of angels up in here. It's called... Oh, hang on. It's called... What are you trying to do? I'm trying to get my phone to play Ride of the Valkyries. Is that what your deck is called? No, it's called Flight of the Valkyries to annoy any of you that care about misquotes. Damn it, Matt, really? Anyway, go. All right, uh, I'm running an elf deck. My commander is Azuri. He's an elf. The deck is full of elves. Elves that go looking for other elves, I call the deck. Seriously, you guys, look at all these friggin' elves. Your name needs work, too. No, it doesn't. You guys only gave me a day of warning for this, so I didn't have time to test all the potential commander decks. So, I just used one of the pre-built ones. My commander is Zedru the Greathearted. She's gonna give you lots of stuff. I think she has a trustworthy face. I don't trust her. That's probably wise. You do what I think you're gonna do and you may wake up dead one morning. I know where you live, remember? All's fair in love, war, and elf murdering. Pyroclasm. Stop genociding all my elves. They're a distinct culture. Look, Ruffalos was really happy before, and he's dead now. Aww. Then I cast Firecat Blitz to summon like 15 friggin' Firecats. They scratch you to hell. And lo, the proud race of effeminate forest folk fall to angry balls of fur and hate. Yay! I don't know if I'm okay with the surplus of cats you've got there, Kathleen. Well, unless your commander wants to give me a card called Fleas, I don't think there's much you could do about it. Hmm. Fleas sounds like it would be a black card. Put a flea counter on each cat in play, then proliferate. And a cat with flea counters can't attack or block, on account of all the scratching. When suddenly flea bath for one blue and one to remove all flea counters. Ah, but the cats are still tapped for a turn because they hate water. Okay, if only to end this ridiculous conversation, the cats must go. You and what cat-hating army? Well, I can't beat you alone, but I could team up with Matt or Alex, them having the best board positions right now. Shotgun! Me, please. Uh, A-train for the win, right here. <sighs> Alex will betray you much sooner than I will. Don't listen to Matt. His are angels of vengeance, not mercy. Would you trust Alex with your dead creatures? My opponent would have you ignore his ever-increasing aerial swarm until it's too late. The gentleman across the table from me wants you to believe that he won't resurrect an Eldrazi at instant speed. That is a falsehood. This man thinks a mulligan is an Irish beer. This creature couldn't cast a counter spell with all the islands in Micronesia. All right, Matt, let's do this. Well, I'm not attacking into that wall first, so pass the turn. Your funeral, draw, go. All right, I draw cards, gain some life, attack Kathleen. All right, Matt. Your go. Alrighty, I draw, then cast Honor of the Pure, and attack Kathleen, and Paul. What? Yep. That is neither honorable nor pure. See? I would have waited at least another turn before betraying you. Hey, Kathleen's still dead. That was your goal. Yeah, but I hope to be alive as well. And pass the turn. All right, end of Matt's turn. Uh, James gets four hippos, Matt gets eight life, and everyone draws a card. Ugh, yay. Oh man, I keep having to discard. Boy, I wish I had to discard, or you know, like, 
play spells. If you didn't want us to just let Dark Tutelage kill you, you shouldn't have put it in your commander deck. Untap. Upkeep. I will flash out Island Sanctuary. Skip my draw phase, and I can only be attacked by creatures with flying and island walk. No, but why would you? Uh, now, main phase. Mystic Decree. All creatures lose flying and island walk. You son of a b And I pass the turn. Have fun attacking each other. Uh, nope. Go, Matt. All right, Jer, you brought this on yourself. Disenchant the Mystic Decree, swing with everything. Yep, enchantment removal would be the play, and, uh, well, that's me out. Aw, oh, your Ikea bookshelf broke. Ikea gun, Paul. Ikea gun. Okay, so it's just you and me now. Two men enter. Seven men. Seven. Well, I guess technically there was six, but... No, no. Despite the cat aspect, I feel pretty damn manly about the whole thing. One man leaves is what I was trying to say. Right. So, uh, second main phase, I'm going to cast a Day of Judgment, destroying all creatures. Leaving me... Leaving you with your regrettably dark steel plated 10-9 flying commander. So I'm just going to tap out everything and lay out a new wall of flying blockers, reminding you that I have 187 life and you have six. Everybody wins, huh, Jer? Well, obviously only one person wins. It was just supposed to be me. And I pass the turn. Hmm. Okay. First thing I do is play Extinction, naming angels, killing off your horde of Valkyries. Uh, what? Then I cast Soren Markov, using his ability to make your life total 10. Ooh, ooh, be right back. And I swing with Mary for lethal damage. Yes. Oh. oh, you ruined him. Ruined. Sorry, good. You give me a hand here? It's really heavy. No, I'm not helping you flip our table, Matt. I'm really trying to tilt out here, G. Which is why I invented the tilting table, Matt, if you will. 